My name is Verena Arnett. I'm a partner at LEK Consulting based in London. My focus is on the pharma sector and how sustainability can become part of a winning strategy. As well as essential for sales and investments, sustainability is an important factor for people management. With farms struggling to both recruit and retain the people they need, strong ESG performance has become even more vital. Experienced guidance can make all the difference for businesses which know what they need to achieve but are struggling to understand how to achieve it. With changing procurement procedures, sustainability is no longer just a nice to have, it's now a commercial essential if you don't want to get left out in the cold and risk losing customers, investors and talent. COVID created a powerful debate about access to vaccines. Social inclusion, including equitable access to medication, is an important part of ESG and will remain an important topic in the year ahead. When it comes to sustainability, we are helping clients to make the hard choices, identify trade-offs and communicate their plan for this vital subject. ESG is important for investors too. We are helping private equity businesses measure the potential of opportunities through an ESG lens. The future is about the survival of the most sustainable. Sustainability demands a lot of organizations and our job is to help you see which demands are most material and how to prioritize and act on them. My name is Andre Valente. I'm a partner at LEK Consulting in the healthcare and life sciences team based in London and I have a keen interest in sustainability. Sustainability is a key challenge for pharma businesses. Our recent survey shows that the pressures from customers, investors and employees on these businesses to develop, implement and act on their ESG agenda is growing. Organizations such as the NHS are asking suppliers about their time frame to achieve net zero. Suppliers need to prepare for this and start the journey or get left behind. This is a task that is far more complex than covering just the environmental topics alone. Our survey found that pharma companies have developed some of the most advanced policies on the social and governance dimensions of ESG, many of which have been close to their core businesses for a long time. Good examples include R&D in rare diseases, compassionate use and data security. Next year will be more of the same. The war in Ukraine and the energy crisis only make the journey to net zero even more vital as companies search for ways to reduce their reliance on fossil fuel and shift towards renewable energy. We start with benchmarking. We help our clients understand how they compare with peers and recognize where they should be in their own ESG journey and then act on those priorities. Our expertise comes from a deep understanding of the sector, how pharma works commercially, overlaid with an up-to-date understanding of ESG. Our own Center of Sustainability Excellence plays a big part in this as both a resource for our own teams and for our clients. Smart businesses understand that they need to treat sustainability as a mainstream commercial topic, not as a fringe issue. As well as a major strategic necessity, if delivered well, ESG offers a huge commercial opportunity.